I wanted to show you another option for your background um, if you want to keep it more neutral. I just have a gray paint here that I mixed with some um, gesso that I had. I keep this on hand all the time when I want a really neutral background. So I have the brush that I used before that still has quite a bit of blue paint in it, but um, I'm dipping it in my gray and you can just make your own little gray by mixing your black and white. Um, Mixing it on the palette here. Forgive my awkwardness, I don't normally do videos. I don't even normally teach people how to paint, so this is kind of been a learning experience, but I'm just um, mixing a little bit of that gray. I already sprayed my canvas with water. I just like the flowing, the flowiness of having, having it nice and watery. So there's a couple things you can do. So I'm just covering it all. And you can do the exact same thing we did with the blue, where you make it ombre. And then just for fun, if you like to get even more involved, sometimes I squeegee these off with a shower squeegee. Um, and it just makes it really, really light. So that wasn't a shower squeegee one, but it is nice and light. Um, kind of feeling like doing that right now. Just making sure it's covered everywhere, making sure I don't have any little hairs in my canvas. Um, that might be a little darker than you want. So, um, you know, feel free to add more white to your paint and you can let it settle like this and have the water kind of drip down a little bit or just leave it flat and let it dry. And there you have a really neutral canvas. If you wanna do the ombre, then go ahead and add some of the white to the middle and even more white to the top. And you are starting with a much more neutral background.